Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Smarter with Siddhar. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about hacking and not the whole concepts of it. Before getting starting into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and for the more videos on hacking, please press the bell icon for the latest video updates. So now, coming to the point, hacking is generally defined as an unauthorized access to the data, which means in general, stealing of data from the user's device without the permission. So without any confusion, I'll make you clear with an example. Now imagine if you want to steal something. So what's your first goal? Yeah, our first goal is that it should be easily accessible to us. So now for the example, if you were staying in America, and you want to steal something from the India. So practically it couldn't be possible. So in the same way, hacking a device can only be done when that particular device exists in the network. It means the device should be easily accessible to us. So then only uh, we can hack the device. Now let us consider some of the example devices which actually exist in the network. It means we can hack those devices based on their vulnerability. and they are like laptops, smartphones, Bluetooth devices, IoT devices and some of the cameras connected to the internet. And even we can't hack the IO devices when the device is switched off or its internet connection is lost. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that hacking of a device is totally based on the device vulnerabilities. It means it is based on the loopholes of the device. If the vulnerabilities are more then we can hack the device easily and people might be thinking that hacking can be done very easily but practically it is not possible to hack any device that easily because we have to follow certain rules and conditions and based on the intent of hacking a system hackers are generally classified into three types they are first one is white hat hacker and the second one is black hat hacker and the third one is gray hat hacker Coming to the white hat hackers, these are those hackers who basically works for the security purpose, which means they tries to break into the protected systems and networks to test the security of the systems. And these are the hackers who usually use their skills to benefit the society. And ethical hacker is the best example for the white hat hacker. And now coming to the black hat hackers, black hat hackers are similar to the white hat hackers, but their intent of hacking a system is different. Black hat hacker usually hacks the device only for the personal gain. They may usually steal or destroy personal data or they may alter or shut down the websites and the networks and everything they hack is only for the personal gain. And the last one is grey hat hackers. The grey hat hackers are generally the blend of both white hat and the black hat. They usually do not harm the system. but they hack the device only for their fun. They exploit the security weakness in a computer system or a network without the owner's permission. And the grey hat hackers are also illegal hackers because they don't have any permissions from the owners. These are all the different types of the hackers and apart from these hackers, there are several other hackers. That's it for this video and in the next video, you will be knowing which operating system does the hacker uses and what are the different types of the tools does the hackers use us. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day. If you like my video, please hit the like button and share.